Hey YouTube, I wanted to do an update video for the TigerGame.py that I built a little while ago. Uh, I did a couple of new things to it, nothing revolutionary, but I thought some people may be interested, so I wanted to make this video. So the first or best mod or upgrade that I did to the Game.py was to get rid of the external battery pack and to go with an internal setup. As you can see here it's on, and there's no battery. So it's all internal now. I'm going to open it up and show you later. Uh, how I set everything up and what I used, but until then, uh, I I went with internal setup because clearly it's aesthetically more pleasing, and it's the it's the way that the console shipped. It, obviously, it looks more OEM, and it fits better in line with the with the original vision that I had for the machine. So I'm more pleased with it, and that's probably the best upgrade that I did to it. Besides that, I, I updated the all the software through RetroPie and Emulation Station, and uh, I installed a new user interface. Here's the, I'm not sure of the exact name of this theme, but I, I feel like it fits the console. It feels retro and cool, and it just kind of fits the period. It feels f period correct. So, so I got a bunch more games on here now because I understand the software a little bit more. But we'll go back to a game because I wanted to compare it to this game right here. This is the 2020 version of X-Men that they released. I also have Transformers here, but this is the 2020 version. Uh, I got it because I got it for really cheap and maybe I'll use it for a project in the future. So, But before I show you this game here and compared to this game, I wanted to show you the, uh, the console side by side. So they look very similar. They're pretty much a uh, carbon copy. But there are some slight differences. So I'll just give you a look there. And we're going to weigh them too. We're going to see how much they weigh. So, so we'll go ahead and turn this on. And we'll let this one sit in the background. We'll turn this one on and put it to the side for a second. While that one loads, you can take a look at this one and remember the, the nostalgia. See if I can actually get a take this guy out here. See if we can take him out. All right, got one. <laughs> All right, so you pretty much know what to expect from this, and you know they're they're fun for a little while. They're cool. They're nostalgic, but they do get come. They get old fast. Whereas this. Uh, can hold your interest for a little while longer. This is uh, X-Men 2 for the Sega Genesis. So we'll go ahead and let it load up. As you know, it's very difficult to play through a viewfinder. Alright. Well, that is Sega X-Men 2. So you pretty much know what to expect here if you've ever played this game. But in comparison, <laughs> it's a lot more interesting than that. So, uh, also, we'll go ahead and pause it here. Uh, another upgrade or quality of life feature that I, I did for this machine in particular is to have the sound button actually control the sound. I didn't fully utilize all these GPIO pins last time, but uh, because I just didn't have the time or the knowledge. But after looking into it and after rediving back into diving back into it and putting the internal battery mod in, uh, I wanted to update all that so it. It, it just feels better. It felt more like a complete product. So, or device felt like a complete device. It's not a product, but, um, so you can control the sound by holding the sound button and going up and down on the D pad. And also if you hold the sound button, you can speed up or go to the menu. Uh, you know, sound doesn't really <laughs> scream menu to you, but you don't really want people playing in these menus anyway, because they could destroy some of the some of the software so also uh, probably the, the best update for this was to being able to uh, add a script to RetroPie that would power this machine off without going 
back to the main menu and going to you know quit and you shut down and all that good stuff so if i just hold the power button here now or the off button rather for five seconds it will automatically shut down and i know it's ready to shut down when the light on the back is off so on one side i have a power board and i have a soundboard and i know when the light turns off on the soundboard it's it's okay to shut down so the lights off i'll go ahead and shut it down and one thing I wanted to cover before I'm going to open this up and show you the internals. I wanted to weigh them. And I also want to show you the, the difference in screen size. So this one is a 1988. It has a 2.3 inch display. But the actual display I have in here is 2.2 inch. So it doesn't fully fill this out. But it feels a lot closer to what uh, was available when I built this. And these new ones are... 2.5 inch so they're they're bigger so if you wanted to use one of these as a as a platform to to make your own game.py you could maybe pick one of these up because you know these are a lot you, you know these are more you going to be more ubiquitous than these old ones are and in, in better better condition and whatnot so 2.5 inch 2.3 inch all right i'm going to pause the video here i'm going to well actually before that i will we're going to go ahead and weigh them. So I'm going to turn my scale on. All right, you can see it's right here. It's weighing zero pounds, zero ounce. So we'll put that guy on there first. So six ounces. All right. And this is X-Men with two double A's in it. All right, 5.6 ounces, so a little bit lower, four ounces lower. And this is the 2020 Transformers with no batteries. So that one is significantly lighter because there are no batteries. All right, so I'll go ahead and pause the video and I'm gonna open this guy up right here and we're gonna have a look inside. Okay, so I have all the screws on here. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. So, not a whole lot has changed, but some stuff has changed. Clearly, we have an internal battery mod. Uh, I had to clear more space out here to get this flat because it would not fit uh, lower here because of all this, you know, just it just would not fit. So, I had to clear the bracketing away here or the support away from here for the battery door. Um, this is the power board, which I'm going to give you another look at by itself. Uh, you can... It takes power from this USB port here. It goes to this board. And from this board, it goes to the battery pack. And from this battery pack, it goes back to the board and into the Raspberry Pi. Our sound board is now on this side. So I had to find a better spot for that. Other than that, not too much has changed. Uh, just some rerouting some of the wires and uh, fitting, making sure everything fit in here with the new battery. So this is an old cell phone battery which works perfectly fine and it's been reliable for me for this uh this board that i got on amazon and i'm going to show you that now so i'll set this down okay so you can probably look these up and find them on amazon really easy maybe i can go back and find the product link for it or a generic link for it I don't, i'm not trying to sell them or whatever but uh, this is kind of like the Power Boost 1000, like the Adafruit Power Boost 1000. So you can, with this little board here, you can, you know, take a charge, you can give the charge, and you can store the charge. And right now, I currently have about 50% battery life. So it's, it's a fairly small battery here. I got a caliper. I mean, I'm, I'll take it back, a board. So it's about 11 millimeters. And hmm, you see that it's about 24, so 11 by 24. I'm sorry, 11. Did I say 11 millimeter? I meant 16 millimeter, <laughs> the other size. So 16 by 24. So that makes more sense. So it's pretty useful board there. You can get them very cheap. So. Go on Amazon and find them. I'm sure you'd be able to find it with no problem. 
Um, I suppose. Oh, also, here's the power wire that I have set up for it. You just plug it in and it charges like you would expect. If I can actually get it. There we go. And you can see in the back there. So it's about mm, between 50 and 75%. And also you can check the ch charge too by pressing this button. I could do an external button, but mm, it's just not worth it to me to do that. So I just decided to, whenever it dies, it dies. <laughs> save early, save often, and it won't be a problem. So, well, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much the update on the TigerGame.py. So I hope you enjoy the video and maybe it helps you out somehow. All right, guys, take care.